Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel, your go-to place for mastering software and tech the easy way. In today's video, we are diving into Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central, the all-in-one business management solution that's perfect for small to mid-sized companies so whether you're brand new to business central or just need a refresher this video will walk you through the basics from navigating the dashboard managing finances tracking sales to streamlining your operations we've got you covered so let's begin now the first thing that you should do visit the official website which is going to be microsoft.com forward dynamics you see there's going to be an option on the top right corner to log in using your credential but the better option is click the try for free option what will happen is you will be forwarded here so you can start the trial by clicking this small button you just have to provide all the information needed and then you will be forwarded to the main homepage of your account all right so there's a lot of information on the top corner do not be overwhelmed you have the finance section there's going to be multiple drop down menus for cash management sales purchasing shopify and even reports but the most important part of dynamics 365 business central are these sections we're gonna talk about it by clicking the customers first basically this section holds information about the people or businesses you sell to for example you have atom corporation alpine ski house trade research rally cloud and school of fine art the thing is, you can track customer details like names, addresses, contacts, payment terms, and credit limits. There's going to be an option here for you to add a new customer by selecting the template for that. You can choose a business-to-business -business customer bank or B2B or European customer bank. Or maybe if you wanted to choose the cash payment customer for cash, you can do that. For example, we're going to be choosing the first option. If you click the OK button, you'll be forwarded to providing all the information needed. All right. Number, credit limit, name, address and contact, invoicing, payments, shipping and statistics. You have the request approval, new document, prices and discounts, customer and report. Depending on, of course, your preference. But for now, we're going to delete this and escape that because we are going back to the section that deals with vendors. Now, here, it's similar to the first one, but you can track vendor details like addresses, contacts, payment methods, and purchase history. You can use this section to create purchases orders. For example, let's create a new one here. So you have the vendor company, vendor UE company, and vendor person. Now, it's like your supplier directory and payment tracker combined. Now next is going to be the items this is where you manage the products or services your company sells buys or uses internally now in this scenario you can see that each item here all right could be something physical like a laptop or maybe a service like consulting hours and you can uh, track item prices right here you see with that and venery labels and related sales and purchase data basically it's going to be your full product and services catalog if you click the plus button you'll be forwarded there if you wanted to add a new item non inventory or service if you click the ok button you just have to provide all the information here all right so we're gonna skip this and then we're going to go directly to the bank accounts. This section shows the bank account your businesses uses. So you can track balances, transactions, and lets you reconcile your books with real bank statements. 
click the new button because here you can post payments deposits and manage cash flow because this is going to be your digital version of your real world banking activity we're going to skip this and we're going to focus on the last section which is going to be the chart of accounts this is going to be a complete list of your accounts your company uses to record financial transactions including assets liabilities income expenses and equity so each account has a unique number and category helping you organize financial reporting so think of it as the master blueprint for your company's accounting system if you want to add a new one a new record here just provide all the information so you can have the gl account card now Having said all of that, on the top corner, you have the finance, cash management, sales, purchasing, and the Shopify. Now, for the Shopify, you have shops, customers, products, orders, refunds, returns, gift cards, transactions, and payouts. But the thing is, if you click on the shops, there's no details yet. Why? Because you haven't connected a Shopify store to your Dynamics 365 business central account you need to click the add a new item so you can have your shopify shop card code shopify url and have this enabled you have the item product synchronization and a lot more so you can start building your information here on the report section these are the reports that you can generate here within the dynamics 365 business central you have the finance, human resources, purchasing, system administration, inventory and warehouse, sales and marketing, manufacturing, service, projects, sustainability, manager. All right. Now, on the top corner, you have the Cronus USA. If you wanted to know more information about it search for the available companies here and then if you wanted to integrate using your co-pilot for the reports and analysis and having said all of that that wraps up our walkthrough on how to use microsoft dynamics 365 business central as you have seen it's a powerful tool that can really streamline your business operations from financials to supply chain management and beyond. So if you're looking for an all-in-one cloud-based solution that's scalable and customizable, Business Central is definitely worth considering. It might have a bit of a learning curve, but once you get the hang of it, it can truly transform the way you manage your business that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next one